Dev Sonny here for Queensbury Promotions and I am joined by G-Force, George Davey. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Now, the last time we spoke, you were just days away from making your professional debut. Can you remember it? Like, how, how, does it, how do you look back on it? It's a bit of a blur, to be honest. I remember being in the changing room, ready to fight, and just all of a sudden it went by really fast. I probably should have enjoyed it a bit more, you know, but I did really enjoy it, but I was obviously nervous, but... You know, can't believe it. it was an unbelievable experience. We had about 500 fans there. You can remember, yeah, about 500 fans there. So the experience was really, really overwhelming in a good way, in the best possible way ever. It was a huge roar when uh, Thomas Trevor said your name, Davy, and it was like, oh wow, it went nuts. Like that must have been quite a moment. It was emotional. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I had a little tear. No, um, walked out. I heard the roar, and it just. My eyes lit up, you know. I was walking out there really nervous, and as soon as I heard the roar, it just it made me really want to get in there. I was excited to get in there. When I was in there, I could hear the chant in the background. There's only one. <laughs> a bit cheesy, I know, but no, it definitely helped having all my fans there cheering me on. It was unbelievable. And as a fight, how was it? That was your first professional fight. No head guards, smaller gloves. How, how did how did that feel? Awesome. Not gonna lie, um, the gloves really nice, small, compact. I had the best. Hand, hand, um, hand wrapper there, Jamie Sheldon. He did a marvellous job. And uh, no, when he put the gloves on, it felt felt really nice and compact. Felt fast, felt sharp. It was good. So, I mean, if you could do your debut again, would you do anything differently? Uh, no, like I said, uh, just maybe not get caught up in the moment as much. Maybe enjoy it a bit more. I really did enjoy it, but maybe yeah, just maybe take a step back and not get too overwhelmed by it all. Really. What was the last thing that Henry said to you? Just, you know, you, you, you had a little whisper in your ear before he went out of the ring. You were left in the ring. You were on your own. What did he say to you? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get on with it. Like, this is what we've been training for. And, like, sounds stupid, but very inspiring words when you're in that moment. Like, let's do this just gets you pumped up. What feedback did he give you after? Yeah, just, uh, you performed really well under that big... Under that big crowd and the big lights, you performed really well. You know, obviously there's always criticism everywhere. Every fight you're gonna do, you're always gonna get a bit of criticism, but it's all learning at the end of the day and just move forward, and get better, you know, move on. Now you're fighting just a few weeks later. I think it's like five weeks later you'll be fighting again. Um, how excited are you to just be so active so quickly? Unbelievable. I mean, I didn't think I'd be fighting this soon, but obviously uh, I've been in the gym, I've, I've been keeping active, and uh, Frank's given me another shot to get on another really good card. I'm really grateful for it, definitely. So talk to me about the super welterweight division. Do you follow it closely? That, that's the division you're in, do you follow it? Well, I mean, there is some really good lads there at my way. Um, there's some good lads there, but I believe I can beat them, you know, so just take every opponent... You know, take it step by step, really. Don't look into it too much. But I do, I do, I have recognised there's some really good lads there. Too, Where do you see yourself a year from now? Where, what, what do you want the George Davy story to tell? I mean, it's a hard one, isn't it? I mean, obviously, I'd love to be fighting for titles, but still only a baby in the boxing world, aren't I? So just take every fight as it comes and then hopefully get a bigger fight, fight for a title, some Northern Area title. Heck, English title, British, I don't know, just, you know, just progress slowly. Well, November 30th, you're back. Arena Birmingham, what can fans expect from G-Force George Davy? Just a really good performance, you know? Better than the last one, obviously, because you learn more. Just another great performance. I want, you know, want all my supporters there to put on a good show, because that noise was unbelievable that first time. Well, let's do it again. Good luck, George. Thank you. Cheers, Dad.